This is the Light Pedal Optical Spring Reverb System from Game Changer Audio. A spring reverb pedal, but with optical sensors. That's right. Let's see what this interesting pedal has to offer. First things first, I want you to know that this video is brought to you in collaboration with the people at Game Changer Audio. They provided me with a pedal to make this video. If you're interested in content like this, where we talk about pedals, amps, guitars, and more, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you get notified when I upload new videos. Okay, to understand this pedal, we first have to quickly understand how a spring reverb works. The idea is quite simple. The signal from your guitar is sent to a transducer, which converts it from an audio signal to a mechanical impulse. The job of a transducer is just to change one form of energy into another one. In this case, your audio signal is electrical energy, and it's going to be changed or converted into mechanical energy. It is exactly the same working principle of a speaker, but instead of moving the cone of the speaker, the mechanical impulses move the springs in the reverb tank. At the other end of the springs, there is another transducer that is responsible for converting the mechanical impulses back to an audio signal. The resulting signal is mixed with the original to produce the much-loved reverb effect. The movement of the springs can be very complex, and by the time the signal is converted back to an audio signal, the sound we get is very representative of the springs. We're basically listening to the resonant frequencies. Factors such as the length of the springs and their elasticity affect the sound we obtain. In order to capture the full range of motion of the springs, the folks at Game Changer Audio added infrared sensors inside the reverb tank that work like photoelectric pickups. Each of the sensors is pointed at a different area of the springs, giving us access to different textures and tones. Additionally, the optical sensors can perceive much finer movements than the output transducer, which allows us to obtain longer reverb tails, a wider frequency response, and more harmonics than what we would obtain only from the springs. The optical sensors also make it possible to generate modulation and tremolo effects, for example, switching between the different sensors or turning them on and off at different time intervals. Both on the right and left side of the pedal, we have a switch and four knobs. On the left side, the switch turns the reverb tails on or off. When you play something and turn off the effect, if the switch is on, the tail of the reverb continues. Otherwise, it is instantly cut off. Then we have the dry knob to control how much of the dry signal or the signal without reverb we want to have, followed by two knobs for the volume of the spring reverb and the optical reverb. And finally, the tone of the reverb, how bright or dark we want our reverb tails to be. On the other side, the switch allows us to choose if we want the reverb to stay on when we press and let go of the foot switch, or if we only want the effect to be on while we are pressing the foot switch. Then we have a knob to choose the type of reverb we want, 
which we are going to see in more detail in a moment. Then we have a control knob that regulates different parameters depending on which type of reverb is selected. We also have the drive knob, which controls the intensity of the signal that goes into the reverb tank. And with enough drive, you can get up a little bit of distortion on the reverb tails. And finally, the gate control to regulate how fast the reverb tails die. On the back, we have the audio input and output, the input for the power adapter, and an input for an expression pedal, as well as the shock sensor. This pedal accepts basically any expression pedal, and the expression pedal can be configured to control different parameters. Since we have the springs inside the pedal, if we hit it or if someone were to move it while we are playing, the springs will produce sound. If the shock sensor is set to hard, then the pedal identifies when it was hit and the unwanted sound is turned down. It's basically kind of a gate. If the shock sensor is set to soft, then the volume reduction of that unwanted noise is less noticeable or we can turn the sensor off altogether. Now let's take a look at the different modes. The first three, Optics, Sweep, and Trim are optical modes, while Reflect, Feedback, and Harmonic occur within the spring tank. The optic modes allows us to choose a specific combination of sensors. For that, we use the control knob, then you can choose which ones you want to activate, and it sounds something like this. The sweep mode is a modulation effect that sweeps rhythmically across the optical sensors. The control knob adjusts the tremolo rate and if we hold the foot switch and move the control knob, we can change the sweep modulation curve. Let's take a listen. Then we have the trem mode. In this mode, the optical sensors are turned on and off rhythmically. The control knob adjusts the tremolo rate and holding the foot switch plus moving the control knob selects the sensors to use. In reflect mode, we get a kind of lo-fi delay by sending the instrument signal through the reverb tank multiple times. The control knob regulates the delay rate and for this mode and the remaining modes, holding the foot switch plus adjusting the control knob calibrates the optical sensor pairs. It sounds something like this. In feedback mode, the springs go into self-oscillation, generating a kind of wall of sound or drone. This is a mode that offers very interesting options with the expression pedal, and you can adjust the feedback frequency using the control knob. And finally, we have the harmonic mode. In this mode, the spring tank is driven by a special circuit designed to produce a high number of harmonics and overtones. It is something similar to a shimmer effect, but everything happens inside the tank. In this mode, the control knob adjusts the shimmer effect's central frequency. Let's take a listen.
The light pedal also allows you to combine any of the optical modes with any of those produced in the tank. For that, we select the mode, configure it as we like it, and then press the foot switch. While holding it down, we select the second mode we want to have and get a combination of both. The control knob will be active for the last mode we selected. Another interesting thing is that we can configure the control parameter in all modes so that it reacts to the input signal. By this I mean that if we play harder or softer, the intensity with which we play will affect the value of the control knob. This can be activated by holding down the foot switch and turning the knob called gate. For example, I can choose the trim mode, put the control knob at around 12 o'clock, hit the switch hold it down and turn the gate knob. If I turn it to the right, the rate of the tremolo will increase when the signal enters. So the louder the signal, the higher the tremolo rate. While if I turn it to the left, it will decrease. Let's take a listen. And there you have it, the light pedal from Game Changer Audio. I think this is a very interesting pedal with very peculiar sound options. It definitely opens the door to diverse and unexpected soundscapes. I think this pedal would work great on the pedal board of a player who likes to create ambient sounds or white sounds with a spatial dimension. And speaking of pedal board, it is good for you to know that this pedal is a bit big. Compared to a Boss Classic Stumbox, you can see that it is not precisely super small. Personally, I like the results I get with this pedal, and even though it takes quite a bit of space, I see it staying on my pedal board for a long time. Also, let's be honest, the, the, the lights just look freaking cool. But I would also like to know what you guys think about this pedal, the light pedal. Leave me your comments in the comment section below, thoughts, questions, whatever you want to write down there, please feel free to leave them below. For more information about the pedal, you can check the links in the description. Thank you very much for watching, and see you in the next one.